Hey everyone, the name is Rector and this is today's short exercise on figuring out your core mindset, your dominant mindset. Now what I believe about mindset is, mindset is how you prefer to see the world, how you see the world at your best. You know, there are four important dimensions to look at here. First, are you more of a doer or are you more of a thinker? Some people prefer to act and some pre people prefer to think. Some people prefer to make up their mind and take, so take a while before they make up their mind. Make sure they've thought things through carefully and that they reflected on it long enough. And then they like to make a decision. Some people like to make, take quick action. Just do, 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 you know, to get things rolling, to get things happening, to get things moving forward. And uh, this is an important dimension of mindsets because it has to do with basically how do you see the world? Do you see the world as a place that you have to think carefully about? Or do you see the world as a place that is free flowing and fast and things are happening and if you're not doing something, you're missing out? If you think you have to act fast, you have the belief that the world is like a free, fast flowing current, you know? You believe the world is moving fast and you're afraid of missing out. So you want to keep the speed going. You want to keep things happening. You want to keep things flowing. You don't want and the thing is, if you stop doing, if you're not doing, what's going to happen is you're going to feel like you're kind of leaving your mindset. You're kind of sitting behind or holding yourself down and missing out while everyone else is out having fun and doing things. You're sitting at home and doing nothing. So you're going to feel bad. And that's the thing about mindset. When you're out of your mindset, when you're not in your comfort zone, you don't feel so good. And that's very important because it's important to know that other people might feel differently. You might notice that a lot of people are thinkers. So how, do, how, do, how does a thinker see the world? The thinker sees a world full of issues and potential problems. Things could happen. There is, there is a limited amount of resources. You have to select your options carefully. You have to think things through. The world is not a fast flowing current. It is a lot of different traps and mines out in the future so I have to make sure I've set the good path forward and that I steer clear of these things. So that's dimension one of mindset. Dimension two of mindset that is learning versus fixing and it's basically the mindset of a person that likes to get new information, new information, new information, you know. Basically just new information all the time, you know, when new information starts to contradict with old information, things you know and believe to be true, the learning mindset separates itself from the fixer mindset by simply adjusting. So the old information was probably wrong, let's get new information in there to compensate. Let's just learn new things. Oh, I don't know this. I have to learn new things. Oh, I don't know about this. Well, the old things properly wrong. The new things properly right. <laughs> That's the base mindset of the learner. Then you have the fixer. The fixer is more stubborn, more true to their thoughts and how they like to see things. New information is coming. Okay, is that really correct? It seems to con disconnect with my own views. Then it's properly wrong. <laughs> That's the base mindset. You know, if you're constantly in a situation where you have to keep learning new things and where your old information is rendered useless or discarded or ignored, you're not going to feel that good. And that's the thing about mindset. Once again, when you're out of your mindset, you're not feeling good. When the learning types aren't out learning new things and when they have to stick to what they know, they're not having fun. When the fixing mindsets are out and they're not able to use and reinforce their knowledge and to think check the data to make sure it's right they're not really enjoying themselves so they're hard working they are industrious where the learning type is seeking new things the fixer mindsets are out trying to keep things together keep things flowing keep things going the way they are supposed to according to your personal idea of how things are supposed to go nothing wrong here nothing bad nothing good it's just different Dimension three, positive thinking versus critical thinking. And you could say realistic thinking here uh, because that's how a lot of people would see it. That's basically a difference of, do you tend to think things will work out? Do you think things will be for the best? Do you think when bad things happen that, oh, it will work out? Do you tend to believe things are overall better than worse? That things are going in the right direction? That a, good, that a decision will lead in a good direction? Do you believe that the things are more positive than negative? 
Then you have the critical mindset. The critical mindset is the mindset of a person that likes to make sure that this is really correct. Is this really going in a good direction? What if that problem happens? What if that comes up? What if this issue happens? You know, the critical mindset is basically fact check, double check, control, ensure things are right, ensure bad things don't happen. The critical mindset starts with how can I improve this situation? The positive thinking starts with what's the best about this situation? So the positive mindsets, they like to go in believing in people, believing in the best, believing things will work out. The critical mindset tend to go, who is the least worthy of the least? Who is the one that's doing the worst? Who is the one that's uh, being the least authentic here? You know, so the focus is first on the negative or on the positive. But once again, it's all mindset. It's all up to you. How do you prefer to see the world? And the thing is, when you see a positive thinker with anxiety, feeling bad about themselves, struggling, like when they they expect the best but then the worst happens over and over you know you, they start taking these hits then that's like you're going out of your comfort zone it's like uh, you don't know anymore you're starting to feel like distrustful of yourself the critical thinker is not doom and gloom the critical thinker is not oh everything is just gonna go to shit and everything sucks the critical thinker is not depressed the critical thinker is analyzing and making sure bad things don't happen so that good things will happen so that they can enjoy the good things you know there's the difference in mindset you know what if we ignore all the bad and uh, then things go to shit and that's a reasonable scenario and it's just a different scenario we can see things differently in this regard the final dimension i've uncovered is decisiveness how fast do you make up your mind? So you have people that are very quick to make decisions. And what happens after you made a decision? Well, you stop thinking of options. As soon as you've made up your mind, your brain stops thinking of options. If you're still thinking of options, you're probably not made up your mind. So that's important to consider. How quickly do you make up your mind? Do you prefer to th keep brainstorming options or do you prefer to keep things fixed you know i talk with people that have a decisive mindset all the time and they come in they know what they want and if they don't get that they're not happy they know exactly what they want they have clear opinions this is how it should be done and they like to keep things happening quickly they know they know they don't want to hear we'll deal with this in a bit we'll get back to you they want to hear what's you're gonna what you're gonna do what you're gonna do about it how are you gonna fix it when are you gonna fix it you know i need that they want a strategy now they want the people to make a decision they don't want people to keep brainstorming or throwing out options. They want to hear the decision. So you have these types that prefer to make decisions immediately and those that like to keep things brainstormed, like to keep options open. And you know, my flow type test, it was just updated. It measures for all of this. It tests you all on these scales and it tells you your dominant mindset. And there are 16 options here, 16 important options to consider starting with the fixers the fixers are for example the lover the creator the caregiver the ruler the person the fighter the rebel and the protector you can see the fighter is a fixer their goal is to fix the situation they're not going to try to learn or to see maybe i'm wrong maybe things could be done differently maybe i can prove this or that they're Solution is, I need to fight, I need to stand up, I need to fix this. <laughs> so this is in all these types. The caregiver wants to fix you. They don't want to go, oh, all different ways are good. The caregiver wants to fix you and to take care of you, make sure things are good. There is an idea of what is good for you and what's bad for you. The ruler wants to fix society. They have an idea. This is how society should be. People tell them maybe it should be that way instead. No, this is how I want things to be. So fixer versus learner that's important to think about here then you have optimists optimists are people like for example once again the lover the creator the caregiver and the ruler but also the seeker the muse the healer and the hero the hero 
everything is gonna work out. Let's just fight, let's just do the right thing, let's just go out and do it, and it will work out. The seeker, oh, there's always a solution, there's always a way forward, maybe I can go there, maybe I could do that. The muse, things will, uh, will work out, things will go better, things will, we will deal with things, you know? All of these things types have hardwired optimism. Then you have uh, the learning mindsets. The learning mindset is the seeker, the muse, the healer, and the hero. But it's also the friend, the sage, the innocent, and the performer. And you have the sage here, very important. The sage is very important as a learning type. Perhaps one of the most easily noticed, distinguished as the learning type. Always new things to learn, Just always improving in themselves, always seeking new information, always thinking things through, thinking things through critically, thinking things through realistically. Thinking, thinking, not doing. And all of these skills come in here. All these perspectives come in here. You can read about them on my category on ericdor.com. If you use the menu mindset, you can read about all these types and the mindsets and how they tend to think. You have also the critical thinkers. Once again, the critical thinkers, the sage, of course, the friend, the innocent, the performer. But there's also one more. There is the person, the fighter, the rebel and protector. The person is a critical thinker. The fighter is a critical thinker. The fighter is focused on preventing a better option. Like things are going badly, so I have to fight. I need to work hard. I need to push myself to make sure it is averted. The protector is, oh, things are going badly. What can I do to save the situation? How can I protect people? How can I keep people safe? The rebel is like, oh, society is going to shit. We need to change society. We need to make sure we stop this bad thing that is happening in society. So critical thinking, uh, focused on the negative, focused on improving, focused on dealing with the bad. And uh, I used to think uh, this was a simple method of development and that we're, we were all striving to be heroes. We we're all striving to be doers, positive thinkers, learners and deciders. But now I'm realizing all of these are just natural, healthy variations and flavors. None of them are better than the other. None of them say anything about how healthy you are. I did this test and I came out as creator. So I came out as a fixer, an optimist. But I also came out as a creative thinker. You know, you see that probably the most in me, the creative thinking side, the writing side. You know, I'm at my best when I'm writing, when I'm creating, when I'm working on something, when I'm like uh, noting things down and creating something of my own. I always value, and this is of course more related to type, I always valued originality, you know. Mindset is not value. That's important to remember. Mindset has nothing to do with what you value. A fighter does not necessarily value uh, being uh, ambitious. No, it's just different depending on your personality type. So you want to look at mindset alongside personality type. So you want to realize I'm an INFJ creator and that person is an INFJ healer. That person is an ENFP rebel. That person is an ENFP ruler. And then you have the contrast between these two types. So very different, so different in how they see the world. And what you want to be looking at is once again, yourself. Who are you? What do you want? What do you care about? Personality type is mindfulness. When you're true to yourself, to who you are, when you're being mindful, when you're aware of your feelings, your thoughts, and your behavior, and when you're acting in tune with your values and what you want and what you want for yourself, working towards your beliefs, towards your goals, to what is most important to yourself, when you're dedicating yourself towards what's most important to yourself, you're, you are the most in flow. I am the most in flow when I'm creating. I am the least in flow when I'm at work, when I'm working hard or pushing myself and uh, doing something for somebody else. And uh, I'm the most out of myself when I'm not able to be independent, when I don't have privacy, when I can't have my own opinion on things, when I can't be kind and when I can't have harmony with self and with who I am and with the world around me. So. That's what I'm constantly working on in myself. I'm constantly reminding myself of who I am, 
of what I want, what is most important to me. And I'm making sure I'm getting that in my daily life, at work, in whatever I do. I need to make sure I'm getting that, that I'm getting my needs met, that I'm making myself happy. You're not making yourself happy. Well, then that's a recipe for depression. And uh, perhaps that's why I'm on YouTube, to remind you all and to remind myself. Every video is a reminder to myself, but perhaps hopefully... It can also be a reminder to you. Thank you all for being here. Do go on my website, ericdor.com, and do take the flow type test and tell me what type you got. Remember, you can also share the link. The link stores your results and everything so you can go back anytime you want and read about it. And of course, it's completely anonymous. So do what you want with the link and share it with whoever you like and get your friends to take the test as well. Perhaps you'll find out something interesting. Thank you all for being here and hope to see you all in the next video.